Hi guys. <sighs> it's not quite 12 lunchtime yet. I've been awake since about 8 o'clock. Didn't need to be because uh, plans changed and I wasn't going to Mum's in the end. I was. Last night when she phoned me, I was uh, going, but I presume stepdad changed his mind. It's not a problem. Uh, well, as I said yesterday, I didn't know what I was going to do today, but I think I'm going to make up my table. I'll make a bigger table. So, uh, got this for the framework. I'm going to use this to replace this bit. So it will actually, you know, just uh, extend that along. Um, <coughs> reuse these legs <coughs> and I'll cut some uh, angled supports to go in here like I did over on that one just to stop the legs twisting I don't think I've got anything else I can go <coughs> I've got shit loads of those metal brackets haven't I I've got some bits of wood here if I need them that I can cut some angled supports with. I've got quite a few little bits here I could use just to do that. I've got the lighter block in here as well. Handsaw. I can't remember where the hell I put the handsaw now. I had it when I uh, put that support leg in for that bed to stop the frame twisting. What do I do with it after that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's the other thing. That, one of these um, back panels came off the desk. Probably the darkest one. I'm going to cut down and probably take it over to Mum's and cut it in the workshop and put it in here. Um, it's not an exact match for that, but it is dark in colour, so... It'll be close enough, you know, it's going to look better than, say, something bright coloured like that. So, yeah, I don't know when I'll do that, I don't know if I'll take it over. Hmm. I suppose I could measure it and take it over Sunday, presuming I'm going over Sunday. So, yeah, oh, fudge, I'll go downstairs and get my cordless, I used that when I was fixing the door. Uh, so, I need to clear some room up here so I can get the Lego up here. This tub here. Uh, yeah, let me charge up the green G Tech. He's been asleep on there all morning. a lot there, it's just the two main models and the rest of it is just base plates that I can stack in up here quite easily move this wood up this end take those bits off they don't need to be on there I'm going to stick them on there you want to sit on there <laughs> so a bit of light appointment on for July the 11th at Renfoy. I know exactly where Renfoy is, I don't need a map. It's that place in Norwich where I've been before, so... Three thirty in the afternoon. Because, uh... Mum, of course, will be, uh, accompanying me. Because I'm, I'm not one that likes to disagree, so, if, you know, if someone tell or says, are you happy to do such and such, instead of say, nah, I'd rather, I'll always say, yeah. 
<laughs> to save on arguments and whatnot. That's not necessarily a bad thing, depending on the circumstances. <clears throat> But the number of times I've been like, yeah, I'll do that, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, why did I agree to do that? <laughs> turn, that turn that up that way, just make sure that hand turned itself off. So I haven't been doing that. Because of the battery pack. he's done today has come to and from on here. They've been busy. They've been very busy actually. I've lost count a number of times. I'll actually start this video again, one because he made a hell of a racket rattling on this car park and two, the car's filled up anyway. I keep forgetting I can't get as much on an 8 gigabyte card so I actually have to go and delete the previous footage. Now, I need to uh, see if I can't just peel these boards off and keep my tower in one piece. Easier said than done. I think, I do want to keep that in one piece. I might put that on another base plate while I work on it. Get some replacement parts for this side. Two more of these in tan, some of these in grey. I will find some of these top bits in tan as well if I can find them. But uh, I don't actually know what the part number is or what the part is actually called, so it's going to be a bit difficult finding what I want. I know what it looks like, I just don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm sort of leaving all the figures and things for the time being. I'm going to stack them on top of the uh, road plates or something. I haven't got that much space. that one on top. Oh, I forgot to turn you around. Sorry about that. I know this might seem a bit like a Lego video, but uh, it is not really, because uh, I'm making a table. You'd actually be, probably be surprised at how much weight you can get in a model like this. Considering it's only plastic, 
uh, plastic can actually weigh quite a bit when you get a bunch, bunch of it together. I couldn't remember for a second uh, right. The last three road plates. the house and the vehicles and whatnot. And just those loose bits and bobs there isn't a lot left to come off of there. Right. Grab the house. downstairs I can go after my uh, grill. Only because that's the only one that's got any charge in it. <laughs> the only one that actually holds a charge. Good old faithful clerk. <laughs> the little fiddly bits I'm going to put on my fire station. And the loose figures. isn't Lego, so we're done. A bit of test cutting I made up for the grandpa bug. I didn't need it in the end. get these two chairs as far this way as possible because I can get them well those three sets of drawers I can stack one on top of the other that's a box that's got to go downstairs to the recycle bin oh, yeah. oh pardon me Mum turns up because she always toots her horn. 
I always go at the window and just wave to acknowledge I know she's there. Right. Clicking that attractor again. Oh, it's got its flashy light going today. I are busy. It's not his fault the trailer's noisy. I mean, just look at the state of the bloody car park. <laughs> they're not potholes, they're craters. Oh, something with flashing lights going. Just outside there as well. No, not brand new New Holland from the look of it. I think it's a New Holland. Bigger than the John Deere they had before. And I'm assuming it's a new tractor because they've had it about three weeks. Surely if the other one went in for repairs, that would have been done by now. It's quite a nice uh, looking machine actually. What's he getting hold of? Batteries from the look of it. Yep. I'm going to put some batteries on charge. Or get the council to uh, purchase a couple of new ones if they're knackered. <sighs> yeah, he's part of the um, team that maintains the town council owned parks and whatnot and areas of the town. They maintain the um, main churchyard just across the way there, the memorial park. There's one we call Trackside Park because it's right next to the railway line. Uh, and a couple of other plots like that in town they maintain. <clears throat> Crap, I've got that lot down there. Uh, some of that I can actually put away where it's meant to be, like all the bricks with stickers and things on. Right, now it's 12.03 now. Let's shut the camera down here and uh, put it back on a little later when I've got some work done. Construction has begun. I got called away because Mum turned up, but uh, <laughs> what did I do with the piece of wood that I was going to put across that gap? Uh, no, it's not this piece. I don't think. It's a short piece. Um, I want that piece. What have I done with it? Oh, I think I can see it. See? I think that's it. Should have another one just like this. one in the middle to help brace that. Oh, Mum paid me some cash back that she owed me. So I went and bought this. I think I've solved my lighting problem. To a point, anyway. Uh, <sighs> yes, the momento. bulbs in it, but they're not the ones I want. It's got like a blue hobby-like bulb in there or something from the look of it. Plug in. Both in the on position.
Yeah, it does look like a hobby light. Well, that works. <laughs> Left switch switches off right light unless they've been swapped around. I'm going to put LED bulbs in these like I've got in the uh, spots up there. Yeah, I think that is a hobby light. Sixty watt made in Europe. Crompton. Can I get warm quickly? Craft light, that's the one I was looking for. I don't know why they're that sort of a uh, blue colour. Is there a maximum wattage rating on this? There is, but I can't see it in this light. <laughs> can't see it in this light. No. <laughs> Pump button tender that just came out. Right. There's never a slight blue tint to this spotlight bulb as well. Which I'm actually hating because uh, it's not quite tight. Jesus. I'm going to smash a fucking thing in a minute just to get it out. Yeah. Tell me some dipstick have actually managed to cross thread it. Just in case something does break in there, unplug it. <laughs> I just don't want that something breaking in my hand, do I? It gets really tight and then suddenly spins. That's why I'm thinking someone may have actually forced it in there cross threaded. And in fact the bulb is not sitting in here. Come on, I'm gonna get a hammer in a minute and just smash it out of there and uh These bulbs just haven't been out of here for a long, 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 long time. I'm not sure which. Oh, come on, for pain's sake. It's actually something stuck to this one. blue tinted one as well, but there's no writing on this one. Not that I can see anyway. See? A blue a tin. I've just got to tighten the um one of the adjustments up on that was a bit nice. But got a mobile lamp at least, haven't I? Dual headed lamp, so Loose. Just got to tighten that bit up. I haven't got anything at hand at the moment to. Uh, oh, actually, I might be able to rotate it with this. There we go. Model use for a tire lever. Still a little bit loose. And a 
adjust it up and down on the pole as well. Up and down, round and round. So, if I need a bit of extra light when, say, I'm doing something on the desk, I've got it. It's quite a heavy base. So that's what I'm going to put in the bedroom. It's a bit dark in places, so... I'll do for in there. Right, uh, screw, screw through there. And of course, before I lay the top on this, I'm going to get all this all strengthened up and whatnot as best I can. Oh. You can really see it. There is a blue tint. Hmm. It's probably a spotlight version of the, the craft lamp. That and this lamp is in my favourite colour as well, it's in black. Quite a long lead on it. I'm actually going to drop that clip down there, I think. Yeah. Just need a couple of... Uh, LED spot bulbs, I'll have to get those out of QDs when I can. I haven't got a decent camera to film with yet, so... I've certainly got, uh Items for some better lighting, now I've just got to find... Oh, that reminds me. There's something down by some bins around the corner I want to pick up, and I'm not actually sure what it is. To be honest. Uh, no, I don't actually know what it is. I think it's some kind of um, docking station for an iPod. No, anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down. I'm going to get on with this. It's probably not going to take me much longer, but I'm going to get on with this and uh, I'll return and later. And I am going to need my metal brackets, I've just realised. I've got to completely rebuild the other half of the table. <laughs> anyway. Well, I got this far with it. I'm going to have to take a piece to Mum's and just get my stepdad to cut a square for this end. Um, I you realise I've made that a little bit longer than I wanted to. But never mind. Um... I've just got to add some of those angled supports in the opposite direction. And I've stopped the legs going this way, but not that way, so they still fold under. Uh, and this top is rather heavy, so I've got one down there pre-cut, so I'll cut a few of those and uh, stick them on. I've got need six in total. I've got some Plenty of scrap wood lying around here I can cut them out of, so... I could probably get a couple out of this one if I cut it in half. Hasn't got to be exact. And I cheated, as I don't use the stool for anything. I um, screwed my wooden block to the wooden stool to hold it in place, because I can't find my G-clamps anyway, and screws are out of the way. So yeah, it's getting there, it's the perfect height for the other one, that top slid slid uh, perfectly underneath those uh, Lego plates. So that's good. So I was just thinking about a road layout on there, that's all. I've got to do a trip to Lidl. Um, find something to eat. I'm getting hungry. Battery's gone dead in me drill, but it built most of that. And I <laughs> when I first measured up for these, I forgot to take into account this end and that end. I forgot they go on the inside, not the outside. So. I actually had to take this whole front pit section off one bit at a time, so I like, did this end first, then the middle, then that end, and trim them down. <laughs> it's still not 100% perfect, but it's better. 
You can see that legs on the walk from here underneath there. See that? It's going under the table. Be somewhere up there, I think. Yeah, that one's a bit loose. But yeah, that'll certainly make it a little bit rigid because that is a heavy top. See, not even a piece of that is going to go on there, so we may actually end up. Yeah, paper shredder pissed me off. <laughs> Um, I've got a choice. I could take that top over to Mum's and measure and cut that, which I think would be the best idea, to be honest, because uh, it's already the right width. I've just got to cut it lengthwise. Whereas if I use that, I've probably got to cut it in two. Then this two of these sections side by side may end up being too long. So yeah, I'll take the top bit then. Hopefully it will slide in the car. It should do. <laughs> I'll work with them tomorrow. I'm not taking the top off to do the supports underneath that end because well, I've already got two screws in there. So I'll just slide under there and do that later. I've got the vacuum cleaner in here. Ready to do the vacuuming. Not a ton of crap to go downstairs such as these wooden boards, I don't think I'm going to need them for anything now, so can't think of anything I need them for. Oh, oh, oh dear me. Oh, I certainly worked up sweat. Right. Chilling out and cooling off while I actually you know what I can do. I can go at Lidl's now while I wait for that battery to charge. Uh, that lasted well though. It wasn't even fully dead, it was just starting to go dead, so I thought I might as well have a break and charge it. But I could have probably put in all the screws for that top bit anyway. Yeah, I'll uh, shut the camera off. Go to Little's. May get something to eat. I may go and get some chips or something from the chippy. No, I won't. I was just going to be queued up at the fucking door, isn't it? Alright, and bollocks to that idea. I'm going to wait till about 7 o'clock. Then I'm going to go and get my cola. Then I'm going to go and get chips, because I should have quietened down at the chip shop. I forgot, it's a Friday night and that always queued out the bloody door in there. And of course, you know, a lot of people are ordering for a family, so they have a big order, so it takes the poor, poor lasses behind the star, um, behind the star, behind the um, counter a while to serve one customer sometimes. Yeah. I'll leave that for a little bit. I'm thinking, no, I'll, I'll leave now what I'm talking about now. I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm going to play uh, some stupid Facebook games, put the fan on to cool off a bit and uh, just wait for that battery to charge. Okay, this is take three. <laughs> We'll try again, third time lucky. Well, I didn't put the um, extra supports in the table because uh, by the time the battery was done charging for the drill, it was getting, well, it was gone seven o'clock, so I didn't feel it was uh, good to carry on. Well, as you know, I've got people living below me. Um, if it was a bit quicker, I could have, because my neighbour was actually out, so it wouldn't have mattered, but I did see him come back, so I thought that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, I can be an asshole at times, but 
I'm not that much of an arsehole. You catch me in the wrong mood, I might be. But then again, who is it when they're in a bad mood? Right. Anyway. Got a couple of 40 watt bulbs in this lamp for the time being. Just so I could actually just demonstrate it. <laughs> Better. But I am going to change those to LEDs. Same ones I've got in there. If QDs have got them, they seem to stock them, but they seem to sell out quite rapidly. <laughs> they may have uh, may have one when I go in. And that's not going to be until next Thursday, but I'm not in any hurry. It's typical. My camera dies, and then I go and find some decent lighting. <sighs> I'm going to replace the camera. Right. It's actually quiet on Facebook tonight, but it uh, it is a Friday night, so everyone's probably out down in the pub or a club or our friends, you know, having a drink, who knows. Which in a sense isn't a bad thing, because it means no one's super glued to the internet. I know it probably seems like I am, but as I said, I just leave this on all day. Unless I've gone to mum's or gone somewhere, then I turn it off. Unless, well, I don't bother turning it off if I'm just popping, you know, to Sainsbury's or Lidl's or in a town or something. But if I'm going to be gone most of the day or all day, I'll turn this off. Something smells like it's burning. I do hope it's not in here. <laughs> I've actually just seen a video I'm going to watch in a little bit while. Um, the Ultimate Doorbell, Colin Fur's Doorbell System. And if you haven't watched anything from Colin Fur's, I'd suggest looking him up, because um, he really does design and build quite a lot of crazy inventions, and they all work. You know, he's replicated gadgets from movies and actually got them, you know, made them functional. Um, yeah, I do like him like his videos. I've watched him for a little while, actually. And I didn't notice that, because it's come up in um, recommended videos. Ooh, a BMNG Drive video as well, from YBR. That'll do. Hello. These aren't intended shout-outs, by the way. I'll just... If I like a channel... I'm gonna say their name out loud on my videos. Oh. Oh! Fucking use your claws last time, did you? Shithead. Why is it he only sticks his claws in when I've got the fucking camera on? You're lucky, I love you. Or was that payback for tormenting you this morning? <laughs> <laughs> that probably is delayed payback, isn't it? I was sitting in bed and I was winding him up doing things like this. He doesn't like that. Although he's not going to show it now. Because I've got the camera on. <laughs> Extra ballast, he tilted the chair forward. <laughs> Lost without him. I did notice that uh, he'd attacked my kitchen roll of kitchen towels, paper towels, um, that I'd left in the bedroom, on the bed. 
I went to move it the other night because I took it in there to uh, clean up the cat sick the other day when I was cleaning up in there. And yeah, went to move it off the bed and noticed it was a little bit shredded. Wasn't it, shit brick? You know the real daft thing? He's never gone after the one on the toilet roll holder in the toilet. He's never touched one on there. But if I leave a toilet roll out or a kitchen roll out, on the floor, on a table, on the bed or something, he will attack it. Um, oh, actually no, I think he has gone after the a toilet roll on the holder once. Haven't you? But usually if I leave one on the bathroom window ledge or something, he might go after it. It's not off often. He doesn't do it much damage either. It's just the first sort of dozen squares will have holes in. <laughs> Mind you, I don't blame you in a way, because uh, there isn't much in the way of toys up here, is there? He's not really been interested in anything. I had a little ball with a bell in it, he weren't interested. I had a scratching post, he wasn't interested. Uh, what else have I had? I can't remember. I think I even had a little mouse at one point. Toy mouse and he wasn't interested. The only thing he's ever really been interested in is if I wave a length of string or a piece of wire around, he'll chase that, or the laser pens. He seems to love the laser pens, even though he knows it's me that's doing it. He knows. If he now went into the bedroom and I reached up to one of these shelves, but I've got the one on the shelf with the keychain on it, and rattled the keychain, he'll come running back through here. Because he knows that rattle on that keychain is a laser pen. And that means he can play and chase the dot. Anyway, I'm not going to be doing much this evening now, just chilling. I don't think it's going to be late um, till I go to bed because, uh, well, I was up early for no reason and I've had a busy day. Oh, I don't look it, but uh, adding the extra thing. I did change a leg over the back on that table as well because the wood had badly split and the leg was badly on the piss, so I thought better to take that off and make another one. Yeah, I'm actually quite looking forward to getting that done. I've just got this big hole at the end. I'm not going to have to straighten that table up because that's going to piss me off looking at that. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. That looked perfectly straight when I put the screw in. Oh well, obviously it wasn't. If I had better wood, I could have made a better frame, but uh, I've only used shit because that's all I had. And when you've got an extremely low budget like I have, you pretty much have to use what you can get. My gut just rumbled while I've eaten. Well, it made a weird noise anyway. So yeah, a lot of the, you know, the framework was all just made out of shitty thin wood and the legs, but it does the job. That's the same I did with the table over there, it's the same sort of wood. So, yeah, it does the job. It doesn't look pretty, but uh, I want the attention to what's going on top of the table rather than the table itself, so most of the table's just not going to be seen anyway. So, but yeah, and if I wasn't using a handsaw, I could have done a bad job with the cuts and whatnot. But uh, I do use that block, and I do get them somewhat straight, thankfully, using this block. He's got a habit of doing that with carrier bags. You know that Pratt did earlier? He was sitting there wanting me to feed him, so I get up to feed him, and he spins around and crashes straight into that table leg. 
Uh, I'm going to need some fairly long ones to do these supports. I'm going to do this middle one. Um, actually, that middle one's going to be a bitch to do because that wood is a. Oh no. No. I'll screw into this first and then into that support beam that runs across there. I'll, uh. Should be okay. I'll def I'm not sure if I need. I might do that one. Because there's a risk that'll get knocked by my feet. Same with this one, this one, and that one, but I don't know if I'll bother with these two up there because. They're not at risk of being kicked or anything, so... Yeah. We'll see how it goes with just ones knocked in on them four legs. And if I still... if I feel up to it after that, then I'll do the other two as well. I'm also using this block of wood to scratch my leg. Right. Look at him lay on that. I don't know. Right. Oops. I don't think I quite got that level on there either, but you see that how that wobble look. Especially there's end legs now. Can you see why I want to put the supports on? <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna take out some of that wobble. But yeah, that one's Probably at the greatest risk of being knocked because it's right where I've got to walk through. There's enough room in there, and if I actually had to get anything big through the door, then I can either lift it up and over, which I probably would do anyway, or clear this table and just move the table out. That's actually going to be bloody heavy. So I can't even put these back, because uh, I'm going to put those support legs in. I need to be able to crawl under there, and I'm not going to put them back just to drag the flipping things out again in the morning. Ooh. Yeah, I was going to come out wider than that, both tabletop width, but yeah, it was going to be too wide. Right, I just had this narrow bit going down the lounge, and as I said in another video, I need space here for when I decide to do bikes up this, up here. Unless I kept the bedroom clear, then I could, um, do the bikes in the bedroom. Because there's a bit more, um, swinging room in there, actually. Although the lighting isn't that much better in there. Probably my spotlights are, aren't it? Um, spotlights are more for Lighting up specific areas, not a whole room. But, uh, I still haven't found. Well, I tell a lie. When I, we were at that um, village sale Sunday, I did find a ceiling light that would have gone up there, but it only had three spotlights. And I don't want a three lamp light fitting up there, I want a four. So uh, that's why I saw stepped away or put it down and left it. <laughs> I was tempted, but then I thought, nah, I really want a four, not a three. But I would have actually have got up there quite nicely. It's just a shame it didn't have the fourth one on it. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. Like I said, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do tonight. Well, apart from watch that Colin Furs video. See what insane doorbell he's gone and built. Um, so, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow when I'm finishing off this table. So, bye.